What's going on, folks? Jarek Cyphers, aka Cigar and Con here. Uh, back with another video. Sorry about the delay. Shit happens. That's life for you sometimes. Uh, new job, new medications, new shit going on. I'm gonna jump right into this though, so that we don't like drag on too long with fucking stupid excuses and shit. But uh, I want to start this video with a really awesome positive note. Um, I want to give a special shout out to my secret Santa on the Star Wars Galaxy's Legend staff. Thank you for the freaking books. These are awesome, by the way. Um, I'm going to have to try and see if I can get some, some of the entries from this book for either one of these books into one of my videos because I'm freaking stoked to read these. Probably be some good uh, work material to take in during downtime at work, So especially during the holidays when we get a little slower. Um, to kind of get you all up to date, up to speed on in real life, I'm still seeing doctors and neurology is kind of uh, next on the list. They're approaching this thing like a um, prolactinoma. Um, I don't want to go too much into that. It's nothing like super serious it can lead to something serious it was kind of going trending in the direction that we were concerned about um more labs to follow on that just more stuff that we're going to be looking at as time goes on i'll give you all an update as i as i get it there's just a lot of labs between between now and january that have to kind of happen before they know where to go with this so in the meantime i'm just going to try to stay positive and keep giving y'all some videos and try and get back into streaming content. More to follow on the streaming stuff, by the way. I'll get that in a, in a moment. Um, my next VA appointment <clears throat> is Friday, December 6th. Brother Hal, if you have any advice for me on how to deal with these assholes, shout at me. Uh, should have all my other claims buttoned up by then, though. But Let's jump right into video game news. By now, y'all know that Google Stadia has finally come out. And it sucks. It really sucks. It's a giant steaming pile of shit. It sucks. Seriously, look. It sucks. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. Get a fucking PC. Deal with it. Trust me, you'll be happier having a PC that doesn't have latency issues. Like I warned y'all, I you know, I, I, a few of you on Facebook, you know who you are. I told you so. Technology has not caught up yet. <laughs> Streaming video game services... If we've seen any indication with other platforms that have attempted it, it's not ready for prime time. We're not there yet. I'm sorry. We're just, we're just not. Okay? Uh, 100 up, 100 down, Verizon Files barely hangs with the Xbox Live service and the freaking um, uh, PlayStation Now. It's playable, but it's not streamable, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, like I can play it, but if I wanted to live stream it at the same time, it's not going to happen. But people who want to get into the mainstream gaming and streaming, they're not going to be able to do it with Stadia because they're going to be running themselves bone dry on data or even bandwidth. So, see for yourself. It sucks. It's, it's a heaping pile of shit. Um, there's some more Fallout 76 bans going on. I don't want to take away from Young Yes Thunder, so I'm going to link some of his videos in the description below. Watch them for yourself. It's some pretty fucking hilarious shit. There's some folks out there who have been reporting a lot of exploits who are getting banned for it. That's that's Bethesda's thank you. Is hey, great job on finding these exploits, but since you used them, fuck you. Bye bye. Enjoy your ban. Bye bye. You're digging your own fucking grave, Bethesda. Pretty soon, no one's gonna give a shit when you release your next Elder Scrolls Six trailer. And those of you who do, we call you sheep. Jedi Fallen Order. It's out. I'm currently playing it. I'm a Star Wars fan. Duh. Okay. I'm going to be playing Star Wars games. Um, it's fucking awesome. I'm loving it. It's basically what would happen if Uncharted and Dark Souls had a Star Wars baby. It's also is equally punishing. But um, I'm going to be planning on streaming that soon. So stay tuned for that one. I'll have a review out maybe a little after Thanksgiving for that game. Um, I will also be covering my review of The Mandalorian because even though I'm super stoked... For the Mandalorian, and I'm loving it. And the first two episodes have been fucking great. Third one's coming out tonight. I want to wait a little bit before reviewing it because, yeah, it's pretty much gonna be my favorite content of all time. However, slash comma, I do want to try and come at it as best as I can from an unbiased. Oh God, don't look at the hat. An unbiased perspective. I don't know how well I'll be able to do that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, okay? But I'm gonna do my best to give y'all an objective, not subjective. Interview, interview, <laughs> review of the Mandalorian when um, when it comes time for it, and you know obviously there'll be some conjecture, there'll be some opinions thrown in there, but I'm gonna try and keep it as middle ground as possible so that the layman who comes in not knowing a damn thing about Mandalorians 
can kind of know what they're they're walking into. Long story short, it's a wild west in space. Um. So I want to get into some veteran news. Please support hashtag twenty two kill during this month. That's kind of what I wanted to put out during my Veterans Day video. Again, I didn't get to it. I was out of town. Um, I did mean to do a video when I got back from the out of town family birthday adventure we went on at the Great Wolf, Wolf Lodge, which I can't recommend enough, by the way. If y'all live in Virginia and you've never been to Great Wolf Lodge, do it. Take your kids. It's a great time. It kicks ass. Trust me. It's fucking great. Um, but um, please support hashtag 22 kill. Just there'll be a link in the, in the description. If you can throw a donation their way, by all means, please do that. I can't stress enough how important it is to be looking out for our veterans, our retirees, um, a Master Chief, uh, Master Chief um, compatriot of mine. She's retiring this weekend. Wish you all the best. I'm not dropping any names because obviously I don't do that on YouTube. But hey, you know who you are. Love you, love you, girl. Miss you. Miss all of y'all. My my old command. Happy retirement. Good luck to you. Um. And I want to go into, speaking of so we're talking about Navy stuff, oh god, there is a really, really shitty story that we're going to go over here, and basically, a Navy veteran has been found dead in his Texas apartment after three years, and his mother had problems reporting him missing. It's a 51-year-old Navy veteran, found dead in his kitchen floor, three years after his mom first tried to report him missing. He was uh, going around the world as a defense contractor, and he frequently called home to talk to his mom. Well, the call, the call stopped, and, of course, she couldn't properly file a police report because of him being a contractor who traveled the world, because it was, you know, it was like, oh, he might just be gone, was kind of like, I'm, I'm assuming, is the, the kind of hang-up. You know, couldn't pursue a missing person case due to her son being a, an extensive traveler, if somebody, if so, a family member hasn't heard from them and it's out of the norm to not hear from them, and you want to do a welfare check of someone in their 50s, I don't care if it's barely 50, if it's 51, if you want to do a welfare check on a veteran at all, do that. Okay? Veterans have a staggeringly high suicide rate in our fucking nation, and the police wouldn't do a welfare check on this guy? That's unsaid. Yeah, it's yet another example in our nation of us not take, taking care of our veterans. And I'm sorry, but, you know, I don't, I don't want to put, put this at the feet of the DeSoto Police Department, but it, it is kind of on the DeSoto Police Department because we need to be taking better care of our veterans. It's in the news all the time about what's going on with veterans. And all I see here is we just didn't feel like doing it. You know what I mean? I, I would like to see some more on the story because I would like to know if there was some policy to where, well, because he's an extensive traveler, we can't pursue a missing person case. He's a fucking veteran. Who fucking cares? And if you have a policy about it, you need to revise that policy. This guy was a veteran. I emphasize was because now he's dead because nobody checked up on him. Who knows how long he was unconscious before the death occurred or for all we know there might have been a fall three years have gone by there's been a corpse in a kitchen for three fucking years i'm no expert but i think forensics is going to have a little bit of a challenge with that i know they didn't find any uh, foul play here but i mean his ford f-150 was collecting dust pamphlets leaflets thrown into the windshield wipers and nobody reported anything suspicious Nobody at all. I get that no foul play was suspected here. And, yeah, at this point, after three years, there's going to be a challenge or two trying to iron out the details forensically. But, my God, fellas. Folks, we got to do better. We have to do better. That's unsat. It should not have gotten to this point, but it got to this point. Three fucking years, guys. If it doesn't make you mad, I don't know what does. Especially if you are a uh, red, white, blue, bleeding patriot like myself. Which, by the way, I want you to remind you all that it doesn't mean that I'm some fucking MAGA hat wearing lunatic. Pa a patriot is loyal to their country, not to their president. Just, just so we're clear on that. Wink. 
I'll have some comedy to kind of um, show my point on that later. Uh, we'll do that for another, in another video. But, folks, please, let's take better care of our veterans. Welfare checks, just do them, okay? If you're a police officer, dispatcher, someone calls, I haven't heard from my son. I haven't heard from my daughter, my niece, nephew, wife, husband, brother, sister. I don't care. Aunt, uncle, grandpa, grandma. It doesn't matter. I haven't heard from this veteran. I normally hear from him, her, every week, maybe every day, maybe at least once a month. Suddenly three months have gone by, I haven't heard a peep. I'd be a little concerned, okay? You gotta look out for each other. Some, if something looks wrong, it probably is. Take care of each other, folks. That's all I gotta say on that. I know it's not like a broken record, but... And while you're at it, please donate to hashtag 22 kill because... Um, this really helps out veterans outreach really, and it really helps prevent veteran suicide while we're at it. Because again, without more detail, we don't, we won't know what happened to this guy. All right. Uh, Hanukkah to New Year's. We're going to start talking about a little bit of streaming, a little bit kind of, um, we'll be doing more hashtag 22 kill because I'm going to be a little behind on the plugging hashtag 22 kill. I'm also going to add CHKD and probably a little St. Jude's with um, Hanuk from Hanukkah to New Year's. I'm going to be doing that as part of my Saggy Slay thing. For those of you who have not done online gaming with me, Saggy Slay is something I do every year. It is promoting a lot of giving. It's um, also a little bit spoofy. It's funny. It's high-octane, enjoyable humor. Uh, there'll be some alcohol involved, maybe a little spiced eggnog or two. But... Um, I really want to emphasize more on not just in-game giving, but like worldwide giving, because I don't think enough of it goes on. It's a lot of selfish behavior in today's world. You know who you are, once again, and we need to do better. We can do better, and we will do better. Uh, with your help, we definitely can. <laughs> and it will be primarily focusing on Star Wars streams. I'm going to be bringing back Tricky Tuesday, though, so for those of you who like to tune into the Star Trek Online streams, since until I took my random fucking intermittent break, y'all were doing a great job of tuning into that. I was really surprised to see people actually watching that. So I'll bring us the uh, Tricky Tuesday streams back. I know Brother Hal loves them, so I'll be bringing that back. Um, the Q's Winter Wonderland's coming up here uh, probably in about three or four weeks, so when that starts, you can bet that that's going to be going on and a lot of fun. Um... But every other stream will be Star Wars focused. I'm definitely doing Fallen Order, probably Battlefront Two. Obviously, Star Wars Galaxies because there's going to be some development stuff I want to I want to do. And Sotor because the Onslaught expansion, although allegedly a little half baked, is still kind of fun from what I'm hearing. And it's Andron and Duxon. They were two of my play favorite places from uh, Kotor Two. So I'm really really excited to try that out. And kind of see where they've gone with Sotor in the last couple of years since I've taken a pretty long break from that game. Um, <clears throat> starting next week, I'm going to be bringing out a minimum a minimum of two videos per week on YouTube, and there'll be some dependency on that one, uh, some caveats. You've probably heard the stories by now of some people losing their monetization again on YouTube, some of whom have lost their monetization due to hacking and YouTube not reaching out and giving any support to them after they've recovered their accounts, um, and then there's some general shenanigans that have been going on on YouTube's side. So depending on how YouTube's policies adjust over the next couple months, I may, depending on y'all's feedback, switch entirely to Twitch for my, uh, for my weekly videos. Um, and depending on how Twitch goes, I may move platforms to Mixer. There are other streaming platforms out there. Who knows what the future will hold, but I'm looking at doing a rebranding in 2020. A lot of that will be depending on user feedback. Uh, some of that rebranding is going to be teased on my Twitter channel. So, of course, check out my Twitter, and you'll be seeing some teases of that going up soon. As well as some teases of my, um, my streaming content that's going to be going up. There will be a little bit of Destiny 2 going on, because obviously Destiny 2 also has holiday stuff that excuse me comes up and I have some fun theme stuff I want to do 
as well as do some character lore of my characters in Destiny. Um, and yes, folks, I know I, stuck, I suck at staying consistent on streaming. Understandably, I wanted to focus on my new job as well as my health for a little bit. Now that that's finally kind of coming on track, I want to get back into streaming as time permits. My energy levels are back up, kind of. Uh, again, need to go see a neurologist, need to go see a couple of the doctors. I'm still seeing a urologist, so there's all kinds of doctors I've been seeing lately. Still got to go to the VA the pretty much that first Friday in December. I think maybe the, yeah, the 6th of December is my next VA appointment, so... Um, I'm going to do better, folks. Uh, for the whopping two of you who support me on Patreon, I'm going to do better. Um, if I get more help, that definitely helps justify that a little bit more. It definitely gives me some some uh, reason to put in the extra effort. So it helps me a lot, honestly. The Patreon helps a bunch. So I don't care if it's a dollar. If it's just a dollar, the more of you that put in a dollar, the more extra money I have in my pocket for better equipment, better microphones, things like that. So, you know, I obviously want to have better content for y'all to kind of enjoy so to do that obviously i'll need better equipment better software um i do have better editing software to have before but it can always expand there's always stuff you got to add on for those of you who've ever had adobe after effects you know what i'm talking about so um i'm using filmora and it has all kinds of cool add-ons for it but again just like with after effects they cost money so, um, with that, though, I'm going to wrap this video up so it doesn't go too long for y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate it. Be looking forward to, to putting out two videos for you next week. It's going to be kind of long at work, so I don't know if I'm going to get any streaming in. I will try to stream Sunday if, if uh, time allows. And uh, I will try and get at least a stream or two in before Thanksgiving. I will definitely be getting you two videos before Thanksgiving, though, or at least by sometime in that weekend. So, stay tuned. Hope to see y'all soon. Jerry Cephas, signing out.